Hello everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to the NTD Racing Speed Shop. Halloween is coming up and it is my least favorite holiday because I never have a costume or it's like the last minute I'm trying to make one and I end up at a party. I got something stupid on. So this year I'm like, I'm gonna be preemptive. I got myself this Renaissance Knight costume. I thought it'd be awesome. I still look like a dork. So I thought maybe if I had a sword, everyone wouldn't pay attention how much of a dork I was like and how cool my sword was. I don't have a sword though, but I've got a plasma table and I got a welder. So let's go ahead and make a sword. Okay, so I did a quick internet search and I was looking at knives I thought were kind of cool or swords and I kind of like this one, not all of it, but some of it. I like the way that it's kind of thick here and it tapers down over here. It's long, uh, I like the hilt. I'm not gonna make one exactly like that, but I like the long handle, kind of two fisted kind of handle. So we're gonna make one of those. We'll go over to Fusion 360 and I use this a lot to make a lot of videos of Fusion 360 for the Langmuir Systems Crossfire Pro and the XR. But so all we're gonna do is basically draw pictures. And uh, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna sketch. And if you look over here on this thing, this says that the Y is up and the X is that way. So this plane is what we're gonna sketch on because plasma cutters cut in the X and Y plane and the Z is just torch height control. So it's really just you know two planes and then something that controls the torch height. So always X and Y. Otherwise it'll be really weird when you try to, to, to use this thing. So uh, to make this sword, I am going to first, you know, swords are, symmetric on both sides. So I'm just going to make one side and then mirror it. So I'm going to hit uh, a couple things. When I say the word hot key, I'm hitting a key on my keyboard. I'm hit the X, which you see over here turns over this thing, which is called a construction line. And that means that it's not going to make a tool path. Anything that's a dash dash line or construction line does not get a tool path. doesn't get cut on the plasma cutter. Anything that's a solid line gets cut on the plasma cutter. I'm going to hit the hotkey L to bring up line over here. I could also just select that right there, but I'm going to go ahead and make a line. And let's just say, you know, 44 is one of my favorite numbers. I used to be in the 44th fire squadron. So I'm going to hit 44 inches and that's how long this sword blade is going to be. 44 inches inches. Now we are going to put a 7 16 inch bolt in the end of it over here. So let me pull out the calculator. Let me see 7 divided by 16 equals divided by divided by 2. So if I say 0 0.22, um, and this makes sense here in a second. So I am going to go a hotkey L again for a line. I'm going to go up 0 0.22 inches and and then I'm going to turn construction lines off. So I'll hit the X key. Uh, construction lines are off, hot key L. And then now we're going to just draw a one inch line over here because that's how far that bolt is going to be inside of the, the, the sword part of this to hold this whole thing together. I'm going to hit hot key L again. And I'm going to just kind of wag it here. I'm going to say, let's just go three inches. It seems like three inches is probably about right for how wide this thing will be. Hotkey L again, we'll just, I don't know, I'm making numbers up here, 1.6 sounds good. And then hotkey L, we'll kind of come, work our ways towards the center a little bit. And if I go in about 1.5, that'll make that, maybe a little bit more. How about, right about there, that looks about right. And then, I already got the line going. So now I'm just going to go ahead and continue this line all the way over here towards the end. I want to angle in just a little bit. So I'm just going to let this thing angle down just a little bit. And then I'm going to finish it off right there. And that's kind of like half of this sword blade. So let's make the line look like we want it to. I'm going to hit this thing, which is the fillet. I'm going to pick two points and it's going to make that radius. I'm going to kind of make the radius at the end of that sword like and then I'll hit enter. I need to do the same thing over here on, I guess, what's the hilt? I don't know what they call this. Uh, the fillet, I'm going to say between there and there, let's make it a nice radius. Enter. And then another fillet here. And we'll make this one a lot less, just kind of a soft. So if somebody, my little kid's playing with it. He doesn't destroy himself with my sword, which would not be popular. In the, during Christmas time, hotkey L, I'm going to finish off the half of this thing. So there, so that is half of what this sword will look like. Now all I got to do is just copy it on the other side. So we're going to say mirror. I'm going to pick all the pieces, all the features that I want to mirror. You kind of got to scroll in and make sure you get all of them. And I'll mirror that. And all the way in there, get that, all those pieces. 
There, we got them all mirrored. And since we had that other line in there, that's our reference line, we can just say, let's say that is our mirror line, that line, and there is the whole sword. And since it turned blue, that is telling us that it is, it's actually one continuous line all the way around. So there's no breaks in it. And so now we can go ahead and extrude this thing out. So if I hit hotkey E and I select this thing to extrude it, I'm gonna say 0 0.1875, 1875. That's three sixteenths inch plate. So that's what I got on my plasma cutter. I wanted a quarter inch because I wanted it to be completely obnoxious, but this is going to be obnoxious enough. And I'm going to hit enter. And then there is the sword blade that we will make. So now what we'll do is just go ahead and go over to the manufacturing part of this thing and get ready to put this thing into the Langmuir Systems Crossfire XR. So what you're watching is the Langmuir Systems Crossfire XR plasma table making some short work of some 3 16 inch plate steel. There is really no tool that you can get that can up your game as a fabricator like a plasma table. If you're interested in one of these, check out the link in the description below or use code NTD Racing when you go to Langmuir Systems at checkout and save $100 on a Crossfire Pro or a Crossfire XR. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! You look like a dork. Man, I just wish I had a sword. <laughs>